Okay, it looks like we are live, and it says we have an excellent connection, and it is about seven minutes before the official start time of this show, and the official start time is 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time in these United States. It is currently 4.53 and 36 seconds. So there you go. And Stig was in the house. Stig was in the house early, and uh, Jen Kim... Huffer is in the house, hanging out. I'm going to check the audio for a bit. And you're going to check the audio. Eastern time. Sounds good to me. Sounds good. Cheat Town's in the house. And uh, we've got uh, a little change of pace. We've got the 002 Stunner on the bench. The 002 Stunner on the bench because I had a debate with someone in one of the forums. And I said that this is the finest dress watch ever made. And they tried to start talking about Patek Philippe, Vacheron, you know, Constantin, various other Swiss brands and so forth. And I said, no, it's not a close call. This, the, the 002 is the finest dress watch ever made, especially for somebody who actually wants to wear their watch. I said, this is more robust than those other watches. It's certainly more accurate. And then look at that smooth sweep of the second hand. None of them can match that. And of course, it's just stunning look at the polish on that look look at the finish on that watch and it is draped with the faux pay bracelet and yes that bracelet is barely touching the case uh, i laid it on there kind of gentle but you know i laid it on there and somebody's gonna say oh that's gonna scratch it that's gonna scratch it oh well we actually you we actually wear our watches and we have determined that 18 karat yellow gold actually holds up real well it gets a patina over time show them your watch brie it gets a yep. patina over time, and it just looks better with use. That that watch looks even more stunning than the day you got it, and you wear it pretty much every day. I've Most of the time. I, I've never seen a time. I mean, it's got scratches. Like I see them now, but like little fine scratch. <laughs> if you look close, yeah, yeah it little, looks good. Like like a patina all over it nobody's and, gonna go up like that. Yeah. Well, see, that's the other thing. And the guy says, "Well, you know, if you look at the." Um, the finishing on the on the movement you know you, if you use a magnifying glass and you look at the finishing on the movement i said listen i said gonna do i said too? my watch is on my wrist i'm not looking at the back of the watch <laughs> it's on it's on my wrist i'm using it to tell time yeah that's why it's called a wrist watch so i don't know i guess i just don't get it we don't get it right we just wear our our watches and and our gear and we actually use our gear and speaking of gear you've got a new hat on You've got yeah, a I really like this hat. It's cowgirl hat. hat. Cowgirl. It's a Stetson, and it is the um, American Buffalo collection. So it's it made off. from buffalo, from buffalo felt. So it's not quite as high dollar as a beaver felt. The older hats, they had a lot of beaver in them. They, they don't have as much in them anymore. And But this is made of buffalo, and it really has a nice feel to it. And it seems it like does. it'll probably hold up pretty good. <clears throat> so, For yeah. A long time. And it looks good on you. So, you've got a cowgirl hat. Now, this is the first cowgirl hat that you have. And we're on the hunt for a, a light color one as well, like a light gray or something like that to, to yeah. go with it. So, you'll have a, a dark hat and a, a light hat. You know, the, the bad guys. It matches with the, the, the outfit. The bad guys wear, wear black. You know that, right? And all the, the bad guys. And all the um, cowboy movies and all the bad guys wore black. Oh, yeah. And the good guys wore the white hats. So you can, you'll can you be able to do both if you get a, a white Two hat. Two sides. <laughs> you'll be able to decide if you want to be good or bad that day. <laughs> Stig's oh, in the God. house. Cheers, Lady Brianna. Looking marvelous as always. Stig's Thank stating you. the obvious. Thank you very much. And Chi Town's in the house. Craig, if Apple comes out with a Mac... Pro with M1 chip and it would you get it? We'll talk about that. By the way, speaking of Apple, here's my Apple Watch and the the uh, Case, the, the the dial the cover, the glass portion here, the screen, whatever you want to call it, has lifted up. So the battery evidently did expand, which is what they do when they fail. It still works. I turned it off, but it still works. But it has separated. And that's the kiss of death unless you wanted to send it to Apple and they'd replace the battery and put it back the way it should be, which is what I did with my my iPhone. My iPhone, after three years, my iPhone 10, did the exact same thing. 
the, the screen started lifting up and it was still functioning fine. <clears throat> I took it to Apple and I, th I think it was like 60 bucks or something. They replaced the battery and now it'll be good for another three years. So, so there you go. Um, I was happy with that situation. Three years out of a lithium ion battery with heavy use is, is, is probably good. So let's see what else. Uh, oh, M1 chip. Okay, so what I'm hoping is that they come out with a MacBook Pro high-end model. They brought it into the lower-end model already, the M1 chip. I'm hoping in the higher-end model with the two ports on each side and with some of the higher-end functionality, I'm hoping they bring that out this year uh, with the M1 chip, I will buy that. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to buy another Mac Pro just because of, I want something that's a little more portable than that. So if we can get a uh, high end MacBook Pro with the M1 chip, maybe they'll call it the M2, uh, that would really be cool. And Bree lately has been using the proxy media to edit in Final Cut Pro and it on, works perfect. on my current. Uh, system because we started shooting at a higher bit rate yeah and it was struggling with the original footage couldn't handle uh, and <laughs> so quality. it's very easy you just toggle it over to proxy media in the view setting and then you do all your editing using the proxy media and then you just export using the original and it works fine so well, that's, you gotta remember to like gotta remember to click, do it like um original when you export. When you export it. It warns you every time though, right? Yeah. It warns you. You're about to export it's with smart. proxy media or whatever. But yeah. So that's pretty cool that Brie is doing that. And and she just composed another original song, Bitcoin VIP song. And it is going to be a killer. We're going to try to record it tomorrow. I, I really hope they retweet it. Yeah. And so. we're going to try to record that tomorrow, and I think it's killer. I think you really nailed it on this one. Thank you. So, oh, did you tweet out? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> now, what else? Let's see. Um, will you be getting a Generation 6 to replace that Apple Watch? No, I, I don't think so. I don't think so, because I just don't wear it. Um, you usually wear... So, I'm usually wearing one. the 231. Now... 231. Okay. You've been with me when we've been doing things like we were examining the Freightliner and I was climbing underneath it and looking at airbags and different yeah. things and so on. Did you notice that I was babying this watch while I was doing all that? Nope. It just was wearing working it. working fine. <laughs> just, just wearing it, right? <laughs> like, yeah. uh, like any other time, right? Yeah. No, we don't baby our watches. We get out there and we do things and, and, uh, and that's, that's why we buy heavy duty pieces like this so that we can do things. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Jinkum Huffer says, Craig, is that a Fisher AG7 in your pocket? I got mine and I'm, this is the original, uh, space pen. I don't know if it's an AG7, but really, really sharp eyes. <laughs> He's got yeah. sharp eyes. This is, um, this is one of the original style, uh, and I can't read. Can you read what it says there? Oh, yeah, AG7. Is that what it says? Wow. Yep, Fisher AG7. How in the heck? <laughs> how in the heck did he read he that? Knows, he knows about pens. How did he read that? And the reason I'm carrying this is, of course, so that it'll match a little better with my titanium watch as opposed to wearing my DuPont that is gold um, that I would normally be wearing if I had the 002. So I'm a big fan of the uh, Fisher space pens i have not had one leak yet which is the kiss of death if you're wearing something in your pocket like this and it leaks and you get an ink stain i have not had one leak yet when you're writing sometimes with a fisher space pen you'll get a little glob of ink occasionally because the the, the claim to fame of these pens is they have a gooey the ink is kind of gooey and it's in that uh under pressure it's it's in the refill under pressure and that's what allows it to sh to write at any angle and in zero gravity because right. the ink is actually under pressure. And the reason that it's gooey is that's the way they got it to not leak. Unless that ball is turning, when you're writing, you know, the ball is turning, that will 
put the ink on whatever surface you're writing on. And, and they're also supposed to be able to write on just about any surface for that reason. So, um, and also the other claim to fame is they don't dry up over time. So if you have one in your glove box and it sits there for 10 years, it's still going to write. And I have never had one dry up either. So now the pen we usually use at the desk at the workstation is an infinity is the, the Fisher pen that has, has a huge ink, well, uh, ink storage section in it, whatever you want to call that. It's not a replaceable cartridge. It is designed to last your lifetime. If it ever runs out of ink, they will replace it for free. And that's the one we, we usually write with. It works great every time. Yeah. You, Never you, dries out. You want to go, you want to go grab it? Oh, So yeah. we'll show it to them, the one we normally write with. And I've got a bunch of Fisher Space Pens. Go ahead and search on the channel here. I've got a video showing a, a bunch of them, and I love them. I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, f for a heavy-use uh, pen that's going to write every time you try. It, um, they work. Infinium. Infinium. This one's the Infinium. They have a couple models that are similar to this that have the same concept where they'll they guarantee that it will just keep on writing and it's it's thicker it's you know it's a beefier pen but it feels great in the hand and it writes well um yeah you just put that on and then you can see it's got a little cloisonné on the on the end here right, it looks kind of fancy and so yeah um okay let's catch up on the chat here um i keep a capomatic space pen in my car I think I might have one of them, too. I think I might have a Capomatic. Yeah. Craig, what are your thoughts on Persol sunglasses? My friend wants to get the Steve McQueen 714s. I think they're pretty cool. Um, I'm, I'm not familiar with all the different uh, models. Maybe if you could send me a photo of the, uh, that particular model that he's uh, considering, we can take a look here on the channel. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it sounds like it might be a good move. Steve McQueen, uh, talk about, he personifies cool. So really anything he did, you're okay with. Now the chronograph watch that he wore, um, I would kind of pass on that. So, but anyway, they probably paid him to wear it. Craig, how often... If at all, would you clean your day date when you were wearing it regularly, particularly the bracelet? Oh, so this is, I, you know, and I got some flack from some people where I mentioned how I would do this. I would actually clean it from time to time with toothpaste. And they're like, oh, my God, that's abrasive, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, over time, the whole watch gets a patina to it. And if you gently clean it with some toothpaste and plenty of water and, t and usually the inside of the bracelet, I would clean with that, and then I would kind of use my hand and wipe that, that soap kind of around it, and then I'd use a lot of water rinsing it, and then I would dry it off back in the day. Of course, we didn't have the microfiber cloths. So I'd just dry it off with a cotton cloth, and, and it always looked great, and I always kept it clean, and I think that's the reason why I didn't have any stretch in the bracelet. I think because I didn't allow grit, and, and other things to get in around that pen through that center link to act like sandpaper. I think the fact that I did clean it fairly regularly with copious amounts of water uh, kept all of that away from the situation. And the watch really didn't have stretch. And I wore it a lot. I wore it a lot for 20 years. So, And it looked great the day I sold it. So all that cleaning from time to time with toothpaste didn't seem to do it any harm at all and it looked great and always after i cleaned it it always shined like nobody's business wow it always looked great um now having said that am i going to use toothpaste on the 002 no i'm going to very carefully clean it because first of all it's got a leather strap as well so i'm going to very very carefully clean it uh with probably just a microfiber cloth and a, and a small amount of, uh, of H2O and just kind of wipe the underside of it and just kind of keep it, keep it clean. Uh, of course, it's not getting as heavy use as the Day-Date got anyway. 
So, yeah, that's that's the deal with all that. Um, Carlos says the blue lenses are great. Now they are releasing more frame and glass colors. Okay, we'll have to take a look. Just sent you an email, Chi Town. Okay, we'll take a look. Akron is shopping for a pair since he's a huge McQueen fan. Yeah, I think the best movie he did was The Getaway with Ally McGraw. That was a that was a cool cool movie, The Getaway. We haven't seen that yet, have we? I don't think the so. The Getaway. We got to figure out if, if we can find that to watch. That's a cool movie. They did a remake of it too. But I think the original is the best. When this gets up, you can cut to this. Let's cut to the uh, 002 in the meantime. Yeah. <clears throat> So, okay. Yeah, I, I remember these glasses. Yeah. I think they're cool. I think he wore the same thing in the um the movie we we did watch um we did watch uh that one with with Faye Dunaway, The Thomas Crown Affair. Didn't we watch that where she was the um, investigator, the insurance investigator? I don't remember that one. You didn't watch it? And there was that real sexy scene when they were playing chess. Oh wow! Well, if we didn't watch that, <laughs> we gotta watch that. See how they fold. I don't think so. See how they fold. Wow! Super cool. I really like this this model here. Um, I've always liked tortoise shell. I've always liked tortoise shell. I just think it's kind of cool. And I think the ones that he wore in the Thomas Crown Affair may have been tortoise shell. I don't remember for sure. But it looks like they've got a couple different tortoise shell combinations here. Probably this one. Well, now that's black. Okay, now these... Are, let's see, what's the difference between this and... The, yeah, I, I like this style here. This is a little more understated uh, tortoise shell. Yeah. Uh, let's get this one loaded in here. And it's orange. Yeah, I, I like this. Now, if we go like this, does it show different views? Is that what it does? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I think these are hip. <laughs> I do. I really think they're hip. Now, can you get these in prescription? Because I'd like to get a pair of these um, in prescription. Limited edition, handmade in Italy. Italy. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'd get a pair. I'd get two pairs. I'd get a pair for, for the use in the car, uh, the sunglasses, and I'd get a pair that are like changeable lenses that get clear uh, to use other, other times. I think they're super cool. And I'm a big Ray-Ban fan, but yeah, I think those are super cool. <clears throat> How can you beat those? Okay. Um, let's catch up here. By the way, I'm going to wear them a lot very soon as I'm going to drive the Pacific Highway from San Diego to Seattle in May. Well done, Carlos. What car you were driving, would it be the Mini? In fact, I will do San Diego to Seattle, Seattle in the I-5... Uh, and from Seattle to San Diego by the Pacific Highway. Carlos, uh, my convertible Mini is in San Diego. Yeah, so he's still got the convertible Mini. Good move. Uh, let's see. McQueen did wear the 714s in the Thomas Crown Affair, but he also wore them on his leisure time. There you go, Cheetown. Uh, like a blast. Okay, Um the originals are the Havana with blue lenses, okay? And R. Wags is in the house, and he says, Hi, Wrench Gang. I'm at my nephew's wedding. We'll have to join you in the replay. Cool. <laughs> well, you can't, you can't uh, get off to the, in a corner somewhere and watch the show live during the wedding. <laughs> That's probably a lot of noise. <laughs> that probably would not be a good play. Um so, yeah, no, you're always welcome to watch on the replay. R Wags, Bitcoin got down to around 60,000 and then it was bought up. It, they didn't let it go below 60,000. It came back up. I don't know where it's at now. What's it at? 60,500 or something? Let's see. 
So it dipped nice down. Dip. It took a little dip, and the and the buyers keep buying the dips. This is very bullish. If it can hang above sixty thousand, if, if it can not sixty one, if it can if, if it doesn't drop any further than this, oh, it's back over sixty one thousand now. If it doesn't go below sixty thousand, I think we are going to be good, good to go for the next leg up. Yes, yes, we will. Uh, let's see. Carla says yes. I'm looking forward to it. I wanted to do it. For a long time, now the pandemic brought the opportunity. And Carlos says, hello, our wags. Um, <clears throat> should we tell them a little bit about the um, Freightliner? Yeah. The ambulance. Um, why don't you sure. tell them what, what you think? I think? I think it could be a good uh, tool. Um, good mobile office? Good mobile office. Um, to drive around, maybe take some pictures. Um, Do you think it is a pretty pretty heavy duty? I think it is, yes. Kind and of a beast, right? Yeah, it's really big. Um, and it would be a cool project to work on. Like, I mean, I want to learn things like that. So, well, there you go, folks. And we we have decided though that we're not going to raise the bid. And I don't know what right. my high bid is. I know it's below five thousand right now. I'm the high bidder at. Do you still have that? Four thousand fifty was it? Govdeals.com. See if it's still here. That's not it. Let's see if this is it. That's not it. Let's see if this is it. That's not it. That's you, Bree. Wait, are you talking about? We'll show that too. Oh, that's right. It's Govdeals. Yeah. Well, thank you, Bree, for straightening me out. Okay. All I'm right. Refresh. So let's refresh it. Should we show them? And we'll, well, once it refreshes. Okay, there you go. Show them the unit. There's the Five unit. We, we've left. talked about it before. And there's the unit. Pretty heavy duty. You're still the high bidder. <laughs> and I'm the high bidder at $4,050. So I'm pretty sure the bid, the way this works is you can put in a bid and they'll automatically bid for you if if somebody else bids against you. And I think I put in a limit of, I know it was less than 5000 I want to say it was like <laughs> $4,250 or something. I forget what it was. But we, but we decided that we don't really want to go any higher. If we can get it, Without me having to put any additional bids in, let's say it's forty two ends up at forty two hundred or whatever, and I'm the high bid, then I think we'll go ahead and take it and ha and it'll be a nice play toy. Yeah. Um, if not, then we'll keep looking for something else and maybe go down to Florida and look at the MCI. So um, that's, that's the way that drive. stands. Yeah, it is. <laughs> But here's the thing. The only thing that has me cautious is this Freightliner does have like 9,600 hours on the engine. Had, it's done a lot of idling. Now, that 5.9 oh, yep. Cummins is known to be a beast. I mean, it's, it is one of the best diesel engines ever made. And most experts say it will go between 500,000 and a million miles. Now, with that number of hours, that's equivalent of about 350,000 miles, even though it has 156,000 miles on the odometer. <laughs> With all that idling, it's more it's like the equivalent of it having like three hundred and fifty thousand miles on it. Now different people say different things about that. Some people say the idling is very easy on the truck, that it doesn't really do much harm. Other people say an hour of idling is equal to um <clears throat> thirty miles um of driving. So you get different opinions from, from experts on that. But you do see them yeah. routinely with 20,000 hours on them and still and never not overhauled. I mean, you do see that. So, um, and that's over the road miles. That's, you know, that's not just idling. So, so anyway, that's the only thing. If it had, let's say, 5,000 hours on it, I would probably go a little higher on the bidding. Um, but, you know, it is a 1996. Now, the advantage there is I can title it as an antique vehicle because it's 25 years old. I can title it in Virginia as an antique vehicle. Just pay once. And I can get insurance really cheap. Uh, and so, yeah, so there's some advantages to that. And, of course, there's no pollution controls on that engine. That engine is breathing clean. It's, it's, get, it's getting the air in and the air out without any hindrance 
from screwed up emissions control stuff. So there you go. Are we going to tell them about the photos and the experiences? The photos we shot? Yeah. Sure. Let's catch up on the on the comments, oh, though, yeah. here first. See if there's anything we need to catch up on. You see anything there? <clears throat> They're talking amongst themselves. Uh, the Persol, the glasses are in USA are much more expensive than in Europe. Okay, interesting. Has it been another exciting show we talked about? Please tell me I didn't miss out. Triforce is rich. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah. So <laughs> oh, Bree, what do you think about the potential channel flag that I sent to Craig? I don't think I saw that. I think it's fantastic. Sent, um, I, I think it needed a little bit of work, though, Carlos. I, think it, I don't think I considered it a finished product. Let's look at it again. Can, Carlos, can you oh, send... Oh, is it the one with you like a snake kind of? Can, yeah. Can you send it again <laughs> and then we will, we will kick this around? I, I think it might need a little bit of tuning. Um, let's see. Where did he work on it? Like Affinity Pro? Affinity so Photo. he says so far two of three. So what did I miss here? He says an exciting show. Have we talked about the superiority of GS? I think we talked about that. Yeah, we did. We talked about yellow gold and we talked about Bitcoin. Yeah, we talked about all those. <laughs> so we're three for I three. See great progress has been made. Still talking about ambulances and yellow gold. Yeah. Yeah, we're still yeah. talking about it. Yeah, and you're wearing it. You're not just talking about it. You're wearing it. <laughs> you, you've got yellow gold on yeah. both wrists. Yeah. Fope bracelet mm -hmm. here. Faux Let me tell you something. She gets e a lot of use out of that fope. Do you ever take the fope off? When I sleep. That's it? And when I shower. You take it off when you shower? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> you can do that. All right. Let's go through the buttons. You want to go through the buttons? Okay, what's the first one you're going to push? Uh, little Treasury. Logo. You got to push it further, sweetie. Yeah, a little bit further. It's not doing it? Hey. Hey, what's it's happening? not switching. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, do you think... Oh. Stuck? Is it because... Do I have to look at this? Yeah. Where is you it? You might want to it's turn not on... It's not this, is it? The... Um... No. Oh, you know what? I don't see it here. I don't, first of all, I think we should probably close some of these um, tabs, tabs, some of these extra tabs. Show them the Grand Seiko that we talked about the other day, that limited edition. Show them that real quick. There you go. That's a really cool watch. All right, that's good. Go back to the 002 while we sort this out. Let's sort all this out. Um, all right, it should be here, and it's not here. That program, right? It's this. Here we are. Launch GUI. I think that's the problem. You have to have the GUI launched. Oh, okay. So, and then if I say surfaces, do I have to rescan or is it already there? Try it now. See if it switches now. Mm -mm. Okay. Let me rescan USB. Okay, try it now. Still. Hmm. Huh. Well, wait, devices. Oh, okay. We need to, do we need to select it? How do we do this? Settings. Stream deck. Close. Huh. Maybe on those tabs. This is the first time we've had a problem with this. Connecting error. OBS. Error. Well, that's the ATEM Blackmagic. Um, hmm. Well, that's a shame. Surfaces. It's funny, everything's lighting up here like it should be working. Oh. It just switched to cam. Th oh, no, that's because you did that. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I guess we're going to have to figure this out later. Mm -hmm. That's really dis disheartening. 
And I, after I after I told maybe on the buttons tab. After I told Steve to um, reset page buttons, maybe. Oh. Or is that gonna? Are you sure you want to reset? This oh, will completely not, erase. Not. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're trying to. Um, so it, it's interesting because I told Steve, you know, that he should get one. <laughs> <laughs> um. I mean, there's got to be a button. Before I did this, and it solved the problem right away. And did you refresh that page, or you didn't have to? I don't think so. We can try it. Connecting. ATM Black Magic Air. Oh, you know what? I think we have to be connected to this. And it, it says, says connect connecting, and it's not, it's not there. It's not connected. So maybe that's the issue. Anyway, we will um, we will hmm. sort this later. Okay. Let's get back to the chat. Let's catch up here and see what we've got going on. Um, Triforce Search says, Craig, I'm going to convince Carlos to buy the O2. We both know it will cost him less than a few bottles of wine he buys for fun. Will they give us a discount if we mention we are rich? Well, here's the problem. I don't know if there's any OO2s in stock anymore, anywhere. Yeah, it's I don't even rare. know if there's any of them in the country right now. So it could, it might be a problem of availability. So let's see. Trevor Switch says, at official GS Boutique, I mean. Okay, yeah, I don't know if they have them there either. Maybe Does they Steve do. Does Steve have any? Steve doesn't have any more. Mm -hmm. Um there's some of them for sale <clears throat> used that they're asking over list, which is unusual for a GS product, but the, there are a few over list on, on Chrono 24, so I don't know what's going on. Um, okay, so we're dead in the water, Bree. We can't use, we can't play with the buttons. Should we show them your outfit? Yeah. Let's ask, well, let's ask them if should we I? should show. <clears throat> you want to see Bree's outfit? Let us know in the chat. If you want to see her entire outfit that she has on, she took a lot of time to get ready for the show and, and yeah. you know, entertain you guys. So <laughs> let, let, let us know if you want to see that. David's in the house. David came in. I wonder what hey. watch he's wearing these days because he always let has. Let us know. Let us know. Yeah, he always has good taste and watches. Craig, you got the chance to go to Japan. Would you buy a GS when you're there, Chi Town in the house? I would certainly look at all the Japanese models, and if there was something that trumped this one, uh, I would consider an upgrade. I don't know how you they can... could trump the 002. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, maybe maybe they'll have something over there that would trump the 002. I'm always looking to upgrade, folks. I'm always looking to upgrade. It's just that I haven't seen anything that on. you know <laughs> that 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 would be a step up from the 002 and there's damn few things that would be a step up from the 231 for my use case of heavy use heavy duty use but i'm always i'm always looking i have a wandering eye uh blues in the house yes the entire outfit um buy another yellow okay. day date four with silver diagonal motif there you go of course, course Bree, entire, entire outfit. outfit. Hello. Um, MRG1911 says 40. What's 40? 40 years old? No, maybe he maybe on a day date 40. Oh. <laughs> no, I'd, I'd rather have the 36, I think. For my size wrist, 36, I think the 36. Yeah. For, for Carlos, the 40. He's got a big wrist. He's got a tree trunk wrist. Wow. Um, okay, let's do it. Let's switch over here. Okay. And let's get you in position, and then I'll switch to camera two. Take this chair out. And you can show off your stunning outfit. <clears throat> camera two. There's the lovely Lady Bree. And her boots are lizard. Lizard. And are those from San Antonio? Or, no, those were, those were not San Antonio. Those were early... Um, from where's the other factory? Um, El, Paso. El, Paso? El Paso. Yeah, they were early El Paso uh, because they do not have the um, plastic heel rand, so they were relatively early production in the new factory. 
Um, and those are Levi's jeans. Levi's jeans. And that is an alligator belt. One piece alligator. And of course, she's wearing a Grand Seiko. Uh, let's see, it is the model SBGX038 Grand Seiko. She's wearing a faux pay. And she does have her Apple Watch on. And she has a. Who made that shirt? Uh, who made it? It's a good question. But you've had custom embroidery work done on it. You've got your logo embroidered on it. And then you've got... Um, Grimes. You've got... Uh, Grimes Graphics did that. You've got uh, your uh, Brief It Dance logo. And you've got the Bitcoin logo. logo. And then you've got a Stetson hat, which is size six and three quarters which is American Buffalo. The felt is made out of American Buffalo. There you go. Briefitdance, briefitdance.com. All right. Come on back. Come on back. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Um, Craig, Carlos has a 50K watch budget for his trip. Uh, can we look at watches that we should watch out for? Um, our spy at names at Carlos, chicken wrist and tree trunk wrist. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, he's definitely got a tree trunk wrist. I've seen it. <laughs> um, and oh, let's gosh. see. Um, by the way, tomorrow we are going to talk about that on Watch Talk with the punters. They invited me to do my collection review, and we are going to talk about a potential purchase. Whoa. Wow. Okay. There you go. There uh, you go. Word of caution, anybody that steps up and buys a Grand Seiko spring drive, you will be spoiled very quick. I mean, you will not want to wear any of your other watches. So just a cautionary tale. If you want to wear <laughs> other watches, you know, Rolexes, Patek, you know, other watches, do Omega. that now. Get it out of your system because once you buy a, a Grand Seiko Stunner with a spring drive, you won't want to wear any of those others. So that's just a word of caution. Blue's in the house. The gold Grand Seiko looks so, so familiar to me, Bree. <laughs> He misses it. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Absolutely, he does. That's like selling your Bitcoin, I mean, right? You sell your Bitcoin, you're going to miss it. You oh may you may never get it back. Yeah, no, that's not happening. <laughs> Some weak hands are selling their Bitcoin right now. Um, and it, it's yeah. generally flowing from the weak to, to the, the strong. strong hands. And so there you go. Roberts and, and, the, and the on... Uh, the... the blockchain the data the analysis of the blockchain and the and the wallet addresses and all that shows that there are a lot of strong hands that are accumulating that's good uh, addresses that their the bitcoin is not moved for a long time some of these addresses are accumulating Pretty and good. sucking up the bitcoin bitcoin is leaving the the exchanges and so it could we could have a supply shock coming incoming there could be a supply shock incoming. Carlos is in the house. <clears throat> if that purchase would take place, it would be in 2022 because our 25th wedding anniversary. Wow, how could you have a 25th wedding anniversary, Carlos? You must have gotten married when you were like five years old. He, 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 can't, be, he can't be old enough to have a 25th wedding anniversary. Have you seen Carlos? He very young very looking. Young. Yeah. Yeah, that's not, I'm not, I'm not buying that. Okay, uh, Blue says, <laughs> like you know I miss it, but I did it for you, Blue, <laughs> Bree. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Uh, good, good, good things come around to, to good people. Triforce Rich, Craig, what is the best watch money can buy for under, what, what is the best watch money can buy for under 50K that isn't the 002? Interesting. Um, under 50k <clears throat> hey if you can still get a, a yellow gold date eight i mean they've been going up in price uh, and here's the thing these watches in my opinion are not going up in price what's happening is the fiat is going down 
<laughs> the U.S. dollar is going down in purchasing power because we're seeing money, money. a lot of things get, quote, more expensive uh, when <clears throat> priced in dollars. So, yeah, I think that's one of the reasons why some of these watches are getting more expensive is the dollar is, is really taking a beating. Uh, and they're so, saying it's because Bitcoin has been going up. Well, that's that one of the reasons. Bitcoin that's one of the reasons why Bitcoin is going, going up, up because is because the, the dollar is going, going down. down. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I absolutely believe that's happening. Um, so no, a day date. The newer ones with the uh, with the porcelain, you know, sleeve in there so that they don't wear. I mean, how could you have a better all around piece than that? And depending on the size of your wrist. A wrist of 7.25 inches or smaller, I would just go for the 36 mil. A, a wrist size 7.5 inches or bigger, I'd probably go ahead and go for the, um, the 40 mil and call it a day. How can you beat that? And I think you can still buy them brand new for under 50000 And I'm a big fan of buying a watch like that just brand new, having all the papers and knowing exactly what you got. Um, I, I mean, how can you beat that? <clears throat> Let's see, uh, Trevor says, my condolences to your wife and you. Uh, Robert says, do I lose my wrench since my GS has rose gold markers? No, no, I mean, you know, hey, if you like it, if you like the look of it, but I would always go yellow gold. I just think gold should be yellow, but other, a lot of people do like the, the, the colored golds, the tinted various colors of gold. So Sunrise Beaches says, did you buy Coinstock? Yes, I did. I Coin bought base. it at uh, 325 a share. It's um, 342 right now. And Brief says it's 342 right now. So I don't know how good an investment that's going to end up being, but I went ahead and bought some. Matter of fact, I sold my Apple and sold my Verizon stock to buy it. So there you go. That's what I did. And I bought it in both my Roth IRA and my standard IRA. Bought it in both. <clears throat> okay. Um, Brie, my favorite color is orange. Oh, cool. there you go. Orange. Orange, and that's the Bitcoin color. Uh, let's see. COVID-19 has hurt Carlos financially. We only have a 50K budget for his next watch. He's experiencing <laughs> poverty. Oh. Uh, Cheetown, California. Craig, if if a loud, angry pontiff keeps screaming about steel being a precious metal enough times, does steel turn into a precious metal? I was just thinking about steel before we started the show, steel watches. And I was thinking when I put the 002 on the bench, let's, let's switch to the 002. Yep. When I put the 002 on the bench there, I, I was thinking to myself, I was thinking, you know, I don't think I'll ever buy another steel watch. I, I just don't think I'll ever do it. Will I buy another titanium watch? Maybe, maybe. That's a big maybe. But I don't think, I think there's a good chance I will never buy anything but an 18 karat yellow gold watch again. That might be it for me. That might be the only thing I'm going to buy from this point forward is 18 karat yellow gold. I really... I really have decided that that's the material for watches and that steel is really for affordable watches. It's not for luxury watches. I'm just, I just have decided that. No, I'll pass on the steel. So what do you think about that, Brie? Yeah, I agree. Just stay with the, stick with the gold. There you go. Yep. And use it. Hey, wear it. Wear the puppy. Um, <clears throat> Sunrise Beaches, I think the 36 day date you own look the best. The new ones look too big and chunky. Yeah, well, the the um, 30 the new 36 mils look pretty good. They didn't change the case that much. It's it's pretty pretty good. They they have different portions of it polished versus um, brushed. But but I think the new 36 mil is is still a stunner. Uh, <clears throat> Chi Town in the house. Be careful about groupthink people, or else you'll accidentally spend day date prices on an ugly steel watch. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people seem to be doing that. A lot of people seem to be buying some ugly watches. 
Did you buy, buy coin or GBTC? Is a, do you think coin or GBTC is a better buy? I own both. Um, if I was going to buy one or the other, I you know, here's the thing. If you don't have Bitcoin and you want to buy it in your retirement account, probably GBTC is your best option yeah. uh, to buy Bitcoin in your retirement accounts. If you're just if you just want to buy get exposure to Bitcoin and it's not in your retirement accounts, then just buy straight Bitcoin. Don't use any of these these mechanisms. Just buy Bitcoin. Um, Coinbase would be my third choice. Um, so it would be own Bitcoin itself, then own GBTC, then own Coinbase. If you if you can own all three, own all three. That's what I'm doing. I own all three. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> what else here? If you Orange, could. like your shirt. Good choice. Blue in the house. I'm hoping coin doubles this year. It might. I think it's more likely that GBTC will double because if, see, if Bitcoin doubles in price, then GBTC basically will. It, it pretty much follows it. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's more likely that GBTC will double. Now, GBTC might also go to zero as Bitcoin could go to zero. There could be a successful attack or who knows what happens. Just, none of this is financial advice on this channel. I'm just talking about what I might do or have done. Uh, but, um, but yeah. Robert in the house, I'll buy a solid gold watch when I hit 40. I am thinking day date or the SBGA 362. Okay. All right. Let's pull up cool. the SB, SBGA 362. Let's pull that up. Sounds like a good watch. Let's pull it up and see what we got here. Get this bigger here. Yeah, and we've seen this before on the channel. <clears throat> we've seen this before, nice. but it, it's pricey. It's it's a pricey little puppy. That's true. And I, I would this like to see it in person. I would like to see how robust that bracelet is. And, and get a feel for how well I think it will hold up over time. See, we know that the day date, the newer day dates with the with the um, the porcelain shim in the bracelet, that those should last a long time. But I have to tell you, this spring drive is 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 pretty stunning, and it would be you would not bump into anybody wearing the same watch. No. <laughs> You, you wouldn't have Maybe to worry. Maybe one out of a thousand? You wouldn't have to worry. <laughs> Not even that. Not even that? <laughs> you, I don't think you're going to run into anybody wearing oh that watch um, throughout your lifetime. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> wow. That's the thing with that. Uh, if you could only own one watch, any watch, no matter price, the rest of your life, what watch would you own? I guess you're asking me. Um, right now, uh, let's see. I would wear the 002. I've already said that if I sold this 231, if somebody were to come along and wanted to buy the 231, then I would just wear the 002 all the time. It's so comfortable. I mean, it's more comfortable than my day date was. And my day date was super comfortable, trust me. This thing... This 002 is even more comfortable. It's a joy to wear that watch. And it's easy to read. It, it, it's just the right size for me. 72-hour power reserve is fine. I don't mind wind, winding it every couple of days. It's nice and trim. I would rock that thing all the time. I'd wear it with jeans and a T-shirt. I don't care what I was wearing. I'd, I'd wear that watch. <laughs> I think it'd be cool. I would absolutely rock that watch all the time. And I think it would be robust. I think it would hold up great. It would get a patina. And change the straps would, from time to time? Yeah, whenever the strap wears out, I just change it. 
I wouldn't just change it for fun. I would once it okay. starts wearing out, I would and I've already got two or three backup straps here ready to go. I would just change it out. And they're they're holding up great. Your strap is holding up pretty good. Yep. And, so and far. So, and so they're holding up great. And she has a pen buckle. And she she, you know, flexes that every time when she puts it on and off. And hers is holding up okay. And mine has a deployant, so it's gonna hold up even longer. Yep. So I think these things hold up a lot better than than some of the forum people say. See these forum people. I think a lot of them don't even wear these watches and they make these comments about, oh, yeah, that, that strap, it only lasts three months and all this stuff. And I don't think they know where to talk. I think about. they last a lot longer than three months, folks. I'm just telling you, you get a high quality strap from from what is it? HD straps. HD straps yeah, that, HD straps dot com. And they're going to last. Um, <clears throat> let's see. So, uh, Rolex. Uh, Carlos says Rolex Explorer 39 here. Uh, Triforce Rich, do you think it would be a good idea to buy some yellow gold spray paint and modify Carlos's day tape, or should he just buy an, uh, a new one? <laughs> I think he should have both. I mean, what the heck? Have both. Um, a yellow gold one and a white gold one. Cheetown's in the house. Craig, what do you think of full yellow gold Submariners? That's a good question. If they make the new one... If they're putting those ceramic sleeves in now, in the, and I've heard they were going to do that on all the gold models, including the, 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 the um, anything solid gold with a Jubilee bracelet. Uh, I don't even know. I think I heard a rumor that they're even doing it on the ladies' watches that are solid gold. So I don't know. I think if you can get, if you can get one with those sleeves in the bracelet, absolutely. Now, I would much rather have a a date chest with a solid gold jubilee but i don't think they offer that that's always been the the best sport watch in my opinion is a uh, 18 karat gold uh, gmt master with the jubilee bracelet and call it a day if they made that with the ceramic uh sleeves for the pens uh that would be killer for a sport watch otherwise all around her go with the day date every every time uh, try, are you bringing your puppy to the dinner? I, I promise not to eat him. Uh, blue, blues in the house. Uh, SBGA362, Breeze Neck Stunner. Uh, that's this one. Show it again. <clears throat> um, maybe. I think that's too big for you. <laughs> I think the size. Is that a 40? I think it. I think it is a, is it a yeah, 30? 40. It's 40. K size. Where do you see that? Okay, yeah, K size 40. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a little bit would be a little big for you. Yeah, for you. I'm I'm okay with this one. <laughs> yeah. This one's a stunner. And it looks really classy on you. Yeah. She always wears nice belts, so it goes with that strap. I think so. Yeah. Bree knows how to dress. That's the thing. Bree knows how to dress. Um, Carlos, as long as you promise to cover all the damages he causes during the shopping and dinner. <laughs> okay, the dog. LOL. Okay. Cheetown, a strap that only lasts three months. Was the guy saying that a sweaty horse with an overactive thyroid <laughs> living in, in Louisiana was the guy saying that a sweaty horse with an overact okay living in Louisiana there you go good question well you know high quality leather goods if you take care of them they can take a fair amount of abuse I, I you know I don't know if I buy this whole thing where these straps are it's just like the 18 karat gold is butter right the 18 karat gold is soft as butter and all this stuff I think it's I think they they exaggerate I think they exaggerate some of these these things. Uh, or they just don't know. Carlos is in the house. I assume you have had him trained to attack and bite where it <laughs> hurts more. Imagine the amount of damages if he attacks a porno star that is dining at a nearby table. There, well, there you go. Uh, <laughs> uh, the most, I mean, okay. And, and Triforce is laughing. Okay. Um, what else, Bree? How do they find you? Let's show your website. If, yeah. Uh, Refit Dance. <clears throat> Refit Dance.com. 
You're a little bit short on the on the button there. I showed your website, and you you should oh, should have pushed the button soon. Yeah, I'm showing my <laughs> my shirt. Yeah, yeah. There you go. All right, briefitdance.com, briefitdance.com, and on this page, if you scroll down, you will see some links. Oh, to me. donate that you can make some donations there's her watch with her faux my pay. social media links as well. yeah social media links donation links and also my songs and you don't give up your bitcoin if they donate your bitcoin the bitcoin is safe with you i have a strong strong home yeah strong hands a strong lifetime home yep let's see here um <clears throat> I wouldn't take gold wearability advice from a guy who who boards and possesses Patek Philippe dress watches in a safety deposit box. <laughs> Good point, Cheat Down. Hoards and possession, possesses, yes. Uh, Craig, if you had a loyal family dog that you loved from the bottom of your heart and someone offered you Bitcoin for him, would you sell it for one, two, or ten Bitcoin? The dog? Well, my gosh, yes, I'd sell it for one Bitcoin. Yeah, I'd sell a dog for one Bitcoin. Would you? Yes. <laughs> you got to realize Bitcoin is going to be very hard to come by some years from now. I mean, one Bitcoin. You can buy a dog. You, but like, there are a lot of dogs. Bitcoin. You can go to the local shelter. There are plenty of dogs for you, you pay the cost for some yeah, shots. They're not 50 limited. bucks or something. They're not limited. <laughs> yeah, they're not limited. Bree says. <laughs> we're we're a couple of cold hearted people. I know, <laughs> Just I let know. the little doggy go. The poor little I mean, doggy. Yeah. Well, hopefully go to a good home. If somebody's gonna pay basically sixty Caring. sixty grand Caring for home. the dog, you would think they're gonna take care of him. Definitely. But I mean, even th even they put him on a shish kebab and cooked him up for dinner. I mean, that'd be okay for for one bitcoin, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> After all, it's a dog. <laughs> Sorry. Oh <dog>. well. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that's terrible. But hey, we're real on this on this <clears throat> show, right? If we weren't being real, we'd say, "Oh no, we'd never sell our dog for one bitcoin," right? We're not lying. <laughs> yeah. No, we're going to tell the truth on this one. Yeah. Um, all right. I think we're going to wrap it up, and we're going to have a nice um, spinach salad. Uh, tell them tell them what we had on the, the spinach salad yesterday. We had, <clears throat> let's see, <clears throat> some, definitely some hemp seeds. Hemp tomatoes. seeds on it? Tomatoes? <clears throat> Not the avocados. They went. Those we had one avocado yeah. that was ripe, and it was it like had gone, gone south, and the others aren't ready yet. <laughs> yeah. And so what chicken. Else? Chicken. A little bit of feta cheese. Feta cheese. You had a few walnuts. Walnuts, pistachios. Pistachios. Vinegar, um, m mustard. Is there anything else we're forgetting? I guess not. Beans or what was it? Beans. We what there are were, those? There weren't any beans on there. No. No. Mm -mm. Oh no! I'm, Not on that. I'm getting confused. No. Okay. So that's it. Okay. So let's <laughs> see. Let's let's catch up here. Better yet, train your dog to do tricks and make TikTok videos and get money tips and buy BTC with them. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Skewer, skewering and cooking dogs this live stream got very <laughs> dark very quickly yeah i think so don't they do that in china all the time though i mean isn't that a normal thing in china they, yeah they, they eat all they kinds dogs of things and dogs and cats any, anything yeah. they can catch yeah <laughs> anything they can catch walnuts and dried cranberries yeah. go well on. oh we had um i know there was other stuff we had olives and and we had an olive mix that we put that on there and uh, and olives uh yeah so there was other stuff on there uh yeah, it does stuff. not sound very spanish to me okay all right so i think on that note i think we're going to wrap this puppy up wrap it up we've been going almost an hour we've been actually going an hour in including the um pregame pregame show. Pre show and this was an emergency <laughs> broadcast 
brought to you by Brief Fit Dance, BrieffitDance.com. And I would show you the little treasury logo, but my buttons aren't <laughs> working. Um, yeah. So we got to figure that out. That's really dis, dis, disheartening. Yeah, yeah. That that is not working. Uh, to olives out. starts to sound more Spanish. There you go. All right. Well, thank you very much, Carlos, for being here. And everybody else, Blue and a Hoffman sub. We might get that tomorrow. Are they open on Sunday these days? It's a good question. Um, so we'll, we'll find out tomorrow because uh, we're going to be right by there. Hoffman's sub. Hoffman's subs. Um, Thermont. Yeah. They should, their page should come up. Yeah, oh, what closed. are the hours? Closed now, but... What about Sunday? Tomorrow at 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., so they are open tomorrow. So, yeah, maybe we'll get Hoffman subs tomorrow. Let's see. Um, black uh, olives are my favorites. Uh, Craig, uh, thank you, Bree. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Uh, Pre-game show doesn't count. We should discuss the properties of yellow gold uh, that make it so superior to every other material in the universe. Uh, we did not show the flag. Wait, <laughs> okay. All right, so here's yeah, the thing. The here's the thing with yellow <laughs> yellow gold. I mean, it's a, it's been around for thousands of years. I mean, you talk about a material that has stood the test of time. And the modern alloys yep. of yellow gold are better than ever. They're better than ever. They've gotten better at, at making the, the alloy, the 18-karat gold alloy. So really, there's no reason at all, there's no excuse whatsoever now uh, to just not go with yellow gold. Uh, there's no valid reason. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the upshot of it. All right, we're going to wrap it up, wrap, wrap, wrap it up, okay. briefitdance.com, briefitdance. Oh, let's show her website one more time, briefitdance.com, briefitdance.com. Check it out. Check it out. Well, that's Oops. two. What did I go to two? <laughs> All right. Pushing the wrong buttons. Good okay. night. Yes, everybody. Good night. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Uh, Sunrise, last, last second comment. Yes, the, the gold will, va will drop, and that's good because we can use it for jewelry. That's what it should be used for, not a store of value. We should use it for jewelry. So Chitown says, uh, Queen Nefertiri didn't wear a rose or white gold. She wore yellow gold. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Uh, Kyle, Kyle says he missed the show. Okay, next time. Next time, Kyle. Thanks, everybody. Brie, call in. <laughs> I want more to hear. <laughs> Wait, Brie's going to call in. That's funny. <laughs>